Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions, and welcome to another episode of our EV Basics. Today we're going to talk about power brakes and power steering, two common uh, systems that uh, are in your vehicle that will need to be modified due to the conversion process. So let's first uh, talk about uh, power steering. All right. Our objective is to maintain the power steering. And there's three basic ways that we do that. One is um, with an electric power steering system, like what you can get in uh, several uh, manufactured vehicles, where it's the motor and pump and so forth in one unit. Um, they work well. Um, Depending on where you source it, they can be expensive. You can pick them up, you know, in uh, salvage yards and stuff and sometimes make a pretty good deal. Another method is to drive the stock pump, the pump that was um, on your vehicle originally, with a separate electric motor. Now we'll show you some photos of each of these applications. And um, uh, that, fairly common. And then uh, probably the least expensive is to drive the stock uh, pump using your traction or drive motor. Uh, the downside to this is uh, unless you have an idle circuit set up with your controller to keep your motor uh, running when you come to a stop, you won't have power steering until you start to move in that motor is, is uh, turning. So without the pump running you don't have power steering of course. Um, we featured this style on our um, Volkswagen Transporter conversion and being that that vehicle was uh, they're light in the front end to begin with um, they have a large steering wheel. Uh, once you're moving it, it would even sit and still it, it steered easy uh, for me. I didn't have a problem with it. But we had it set up to where you could flip a switch and turn on this auxiliary motor off and on from the dash. So if you were in a tight situation and you wanted power steering, flip the switch, you had it right now. Um, and so if you want to know more about that, uh, check out some of our episodes on the Volkswagen Transporter. So those are the three ways that we uh, maintain the power steering on a conversion. So let's talk about power brakes, which is even more common than power steering. There are vehicles that will have power brakes that don't have power steering. Seldom have a car with power steering and no power brakes. So let's talk about the brakes. Again, our objective is to maintain the power brakes. In most cars nowadays with um, you know, four-wheel disc brakes and so forth um, require that extra boost that uh, power brakes provide. And so what happens when we do a conversion and we remove the internal combustion engine, we, uh, we lose our, uh, our vacuum source. is misspelled. And so we have to replace that vacuum source and we do that by using a vacuum pump. Uh, they're a 12 volt pump and uh, we'll, we'll go to the other board and show you a schematic of how that's done but you need a pump and a relay. Uh, we always use a vacuum reservoir although I know people that, that don't. Uh, we typically use a gauge uh, also uh, just so we can monitor that pressure at a glance. You need a pressure switch and we always use a couple one-way valves. So let me show you how that uh, is plumbed and wired. So here are our main components. We've got our vehicle auxiliary battery, our 12-volt battery. 
We've got the relay I mentioned. We've got the vacuum pump. We've got the pressure switch, our vacuum tank, reservoir, one-way valve, and we actually uh, put two of them. We basically isolate the vacuum pump. So we have a one-way valve on either side of that tank. And then our brake booster. And this is where your stock line would come into your booster. On the internal combustion, it comes off of the um, intake manifold. And so how this works then is that when you turn on the ignition, if the pressure in the system has, uh, has uh, decreased to a, a certain threshold, this switch will close. Once that switch closes, you have a circuit that goes through your relay, through the coil of the relay to ground, and so that relay is going to close. When that relay closes, we're going to have a path from our 12 volt source through our relay and through our pump. And they typically run on the pressure switches uh, 12 to 18 inches of vacuum. And uh, most of the pumps will keep it there real fast and easy. And so with the one-way valve here, if, if something failed here, we keep our vacuum in the tank. Same here, if something fails, we keep vacuum in the tank. And it's just a very simple circuit. Um, most of these components aren't too large, so they, they fit uh, even in a tight vehicle like a Miata or something. Uh, you can find a spot to stash them. Um, but you can see, very simple way to replicate uh, the vacuum source required for our power brakes. In our next episode, we'll talk about safety devices and gauges. If you have any questions regarding this episode or any of our YouTube videos, please email us at info at evforyounow.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. We hope you enjoyed the video and if so, uh, appreciate you subscribing to our YouTube channel and tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. You want to learn more? You want to learn about all the components in greater detail? You want to actually install the components and wire conversion? Test it and drive it? Well, you can. By attending one of ev for us three-day hands-on conversion workshops. You will get a chance to learn, discuss, ask questions about all the components used in a conversion. Wiring techniques, hardware used, safety, how it all goes together, and much more. But we don't just talk about it. We go into the shop and install the components in a vehicle, wire it up, and test it. After testing in the shop, we test it on our test track and in the industrial park where we're located. One of the vehicles we'll be using in 2014 is our sand rail. It's a blast. So come join us for three days of education and fun. Meet people from all over in a beautiful setting while learning how to convert a vehicle from gas to electric. ev for You provides lunch each day at great local restaurants. After hours, you can visit many of the local attractions, like Shasta Lake, the largest lake in California. Shasta Dam, the second largest concrete dam in the United States. Shasta Caverns. You can take a dinner cruise on Shasta Lake. Take a walk on the Sundial Bridge. Visit Mount Shasta. There's night skiing available during the winter. Visit Bernie Falls National Recreation Area. Or go kayaking at Whiskey Town Lake. You can check out the source of the Sacramento River. Sacramento River is the largest river in the state of California, and you can see where it bubbles out out of the ground. 
We've got world-class fishing, hiking, and biking, all within minutes of EV for You's shop. So we hope you'll join us. So visit www.ev4unow.com and register today. The class sizes are limited, so don't delay.